welcome back for another workout. If you are new to the channel, I'm Jessica. And for all of us today, I have seated upper body. We will be focusing on the muscles through the shoulders, back, chest, and arms. As well, we will be finishing this workout with a little bit of focus on hand and grip strength as well as wrist flexibility. I will be working with some hand weights for the middle portion of the workout. I have my five pound dumbbells. Anything from no weights on up into the six, seven pound range would probably be perfect for this workout. Grab your chair because we will be seated for all of our exercises today. If you haven't already, please take the time to subscribe. It is always free. It supports this channel and it makes the workouts easier for you to find in the future. Get everything set up and we're gonna get moving right now. Let's ease our way on into a warm up. We're just gonna take those arms low and cross and open them. Try to alternate which hand is on top. And when you open those arms to the back, make sure that you're not overly arching through the low back. So your core is staying nice and stable. Your spine isn't moving. We don't wanna stress out this low back today, keep it nice and easy. And then you can build and make this cross and open a little bit bigger if you feel like you have some extra room to move. And then you can actually kind of start to hug those arms in over the shoulders in the back. A light tap keeps it easy to open up those back muscles, open up those chest muscles here on the open. Open the back on the close. Awesome. And then we will go ahead, take those arms all the way out, push those palms down to the floor as you make small circles here. So just kind of imagine drawing either with the thumb or the fingers, nice and smooth. You can keep it lower if that feels better in your shoulders. No matter where you are, we are not scrunching up through the neck, stay nice and tall. Our posture is something that we always want to watch and pay close attention to through our workouts. Bring those hands and flip them so that the palms are up. And now we're gonna open circles back. And you might feel a little more stretching through the front of the shoulders and the chest muscles, that's good. We wanna get them nice and open, but it should not be painful. So if it is, make a smaller circle, take them a little bit lower, you guys. Have all these modifications, anything that feels good in your body, keep. But if any of the exercises are uncomfortable for you today, take any modification that works for you. So everything I have is always just a suggestion. Let's take some wrist circles here. And hopefully we're feeling like those upper body muscles are getting a little warm. We're gonna pick the heart rate up nice and easy here too. So opposite knee is gonna scoop and you're just gonna take those hands like we were doing a bicep curl, except we have no weights. We're gonna let those muscles get warmed up. Go ahead and march opposite knee here just to get the lower body involved. <sighs> Embrace and squeeze through those core muscles so that they are nice and active and ready to keep you supported through our movements today. And then we will draw those arms up overhead and we're just gonna take the thumbs and kind of reach to touch the shoulders or even back behind the neck if you have the flexibility for that. It's the same stretch no matter where you are. Touching the shoulders is gonna be a little less intense through the triceps and touching to the back is going to increase the intensity just a little bit. So whatever is right for you. Very good, core muscles are pulled in, spine is nice and tall, neck is neutral, hang in here. Let's take just a few more and then go ahead and set that down. Our first four exercises today we will be doing with no weights. Our middle portion of the workout, we will get the dumbbells out and use those. And then at the end of this workout, we will get into the wrist and hands 
with no weights at all. So we're only gonna be using the weights briefly today. We're gonna repeat each exercise one time for 20 repetitions each exercise. 20 is the goal. You do not have to get all 20 for each move. So if you need to take a break, you can pause somewhere around the 10, 10 repetition range, take a break for a few, and then maybe jump back in and see if you can complete through the last set. 20 is the get to, it is not a have to. So we're gonna start here. Nice, good press of the feet into the floor. So your low body here is already supporting you. And we're gonna take those arms up. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see what I've got going. And we're just gonna take a speed bag punch here. It does not have to be big. It does not have to be fast. You do want to watch out and be careful of your face. Now this is really hard to count because hopefully you are moving at a pace it's difficult to keep track of. So I'm gonna give us about 20 seconds here and I would say you're probably about halfway done. So let's give it 10, nine, eight, seven, keep going, five, four, tighten up those arm muscles, three, two, and one, drop them down a little bit, little bit of a tail end of the warm up there. We're gonna take those arms out to a Y position. If you need to lower them and drop them closer to the floor, that's totally fine. We're just gonna pulse them back and release them back down. So you're gonna count how many times you come back, feel those back muscles kind of roll onto the spine. Go ahead and start here. If you haven't already, like I said, you can keep them lower and lift, or if you've got the flexibility, you can start way up here and press back. Very good, we're about a quarter of the way there. Nice, tall posture, don't push the stomach forward, trying to get extra distance covered. I would rather you modify the arms and keep that low back safe. So if you feel like you just can't get all the way up here without pushing the rib cage out, pull it back in and lower the arms. Let's go for five more here. Really feel those back muscles move. Don't try to go fast. Don't go for a big movement. Just feel them working and warming up. Last two here. And one, very good, drop them down. You might feel those shoulders getting warm already. We'll take a quick little break in between some of our exercises today just because I know it can really add up especially as those muscles get tired. Let's go ahead, we're gonna bring those arms back up to our Y position, except this time we're gonna take a nice good deep breath in, and then exhale, squeeze those elbows out, down, and in. You're gonna kinda end up in a W position. We're gonna do 20 of those. There is no rush today, so please, Give yourself the time to do these exercises properly, keeping your good posture and your good form, and also really feeling those muscles work. So especially on this one here, you should kind of feel the shoulders working on the lift and this big back muscle working as you pull down and lower, squeeze those back muscles together. And uh, like I said, don't push the rib cage forward. There's plenty of time here. Go until you have 20 or get as close to 20 as you can. Good. If you're pacing with me, you are about halfway there. Sometimes it's easier not to count and just kind of <laughs> copy the instructor, which is totally fine. Very good, five more. Really let those muscles work here. Last two. I definitely feel those shoulders here. We do not have a lot for shoulders. We're kind of working them in conjunction with everything else that we are doing today. Go ahead and ease that out. Give it a little wiggle if you need to. 
And then we're gonna come into a position where we have this really tall, flat spine. And just here at the waist, we're gonna kind of like a sheet of paper fold forward. So really angular through this upper body and through these feet. Thumbs are gonna come to the front. We're gonna take a nice, good deep breath in. Exhale, you're gonna take those thumbs, turn them sideways, squeeze those back muscles, and release it back here to the front. 20 of those, we've already got one down. Nice and steady. Shoulders are working here too to keep those arms up. So you're not imagining it. If you feel them, hang in there. They're getting nice and strong. Hold those abs in so you are supporting the low back. Good. Neck is nice and neutral, so you're kind of staring down to a spot on the floor in front of the feet. So you don't want the body going this way and then the neck kinking up and back. Halfway there if you're following with me. You can take a break if you need to and come back to it. Good, stay nice and steady here, nice and in control of these muscles. Good, make sure those feet are pressing firmly into the floor. Three more here. You might be getting a bonus one on this round. I'd rather give you too many than not enough. If you have your 20, you just take an extra couple seconds on our rest period. And last one here, very good, drop that down. Give me some shoulder circles here. You're probably feeling a little bit of work in there. And then we're going to slowly make our way underneath the chair, which is where you should be storing your weights. I hope that you guys are in the habit of keeping the weights under the chair. So if you need to answer the telephone or get a package off the doorstep or even run to the restroom, you do not have any tripping hazards. So keep your weights under your chair. Go ahead and get those out and bring them on up. You can absolutely do this with no weights as well. We're going to bring those legs in a little bit closer together because we're gonna be moving to the sides of our chair. We're gonna take a hammer curl. We're gonna lift it all the way up, lower it halfway down. Right and left arm turn out individually. Follow through with the rest of the lowering on that hammer curl. So we're gonna count 20 of those here. Good, don't turn that arm so far that you feel strain through the shoulder as this big arm bone rotates through the shoulder joint there. So only go as far as you can comfortably. So even if it's just right here, that's okay. Your flexibility will increase in time all the way up, lower halfway. Good, keep those wrists nice and straight in between the palm and the forearm. Core nice and tight. Everything is active through your ab muscles so that you are maintaining good posture and supporting your low back. Very good. This one starts a little bit easy and as we get into it, it does get tougher. Keep those elbows in towards your waist. Don't let them open out. This is 10 here, so we are halfway there. And you should be noticing that it's becoming a bit more challenging. That's a good thing. I wanna keep you challenged, but if you need a break, you go ahead and take a break too. Or modify. Good, breathe. Nice and steady, make sure that those abs are holding in. This low back feels good. The shoulders feel good, so don't overstretch. Don't move big here. 
keep it small and tight. If you need to, listen to your body, especially the shoulders. We have plenty of time to increase your flexibility. We do not have to do it all in one day. I will be here for you guys. We will be back. Good. And I notice here that my right arm is able to go a lot further back than my left. And if you're experiencing something similar, that's so normal. I just use my right arm a lot more than my left. So of course the mobility is going to be different. Very good. And this is our last one here. Awesome job. And go ahead, release that on down. You can give them a quick little shake, take a quick break or a drink of water if you need to. And then we are going to take these weights, drop them down to the sides and you can see that the back of my hand is facing forward and my palm is facing the wall behind me. And just like we did with our beginning exercises, you're going to simply sit up nice and straight and then just bend at the waist, maintaining a straight spine through your whole entire back. And then the head is gonna be right in line with that. You're gonna push those arms back about halfway and that's gonna give you room to pulse this right arm back 10 times. Little bit of work there on the left. Don't let that left arm start drifting forward. Keep it back halfway. Nine and 10. And then you guessed it, lower the right hand in halfway and press back with the left 10 times. I'm still hugging in, you're almost there nine and ten now lower that left hand halfway right hand presses back ten times so we're just breaking this up a little bit eight two more nine and ten backs of the arms are talking to you ten on the left keep that right arm back you are almost done you will not see this one again today Seven, very good. Two more, nine and 10. Beautiful job, bring them forward, set them on to the thighs. Make sure that they are secure. Maybe fold one hand over as you shake after each of those hands, nice and easy. Quick drink of water if you need it. And then we will come back to our weights. We're going to take a crossover chest fly. So you're gonna be holding those weights right here, right at about the middle point of a bicep curl, and you're gonna push it up and over in front of each shoulder. As you do that, the body is not gonna turn with the hand. It's just the hand crossing over. So my shoulders are staying level to the front. Grab your weights. Let's go here, 20 total each one counts so it's not 20 each arm it's 20 alternating good tighten up those core muscles they are working here to keep you steady biceps are working here shoulders and chest awesome job make sure that the torso is not moving kind of glue this belly button right here right in the middle and keep it there halfway there good i really i feel those shoulders we did a good job warming them up right we just have a few more here. Very good. Last one right here on the left side. Bring it in and go ahead and release. Now, quite a bit of biceps here today. We're going to be working them in that same position. So in that same bicep hold, and then we're just gonna fly 
each shoulder up. When you do that, your core is gonna be working so that way you don't tip to one side and you're just gonna kind of imagine lifting the elbow and lowering it. So don't move from the hand. No funny movements in through the wrists. Hold them here. We're gonna go 20 again, alternating, not each arm. So it's just gonna be one, bring it in, and two. Lift and lower through the elbow. Hand and wrist just follow where that elbow goes. And then kind of pause those weights back in here to the center. Core nice and tight. Feet planted into the floor, shoulders out of the ears. And you are breathing. <laughs> Make sure you are breathing. Halfway there. Good, you can keep it lower. You can decrease your weights or you can work with no weights at all if you need to modify this. You're gonna feel those forearms working here as well. Beautiful job, last two here. And beautiful, take that on down. Again, you can give them a quick shake, quick drink of water if you need it. We're going to come here and imagine that the weights are in my hands. I will show you guys when we get going here too. And my palms are facing forward. We're gonna press up and together. And then we're gonna kind of take this outside portion of the dumbbell and turn the pinky side of the hands in just a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. You don't have to get them to touch. It's gonna look different for everybody because everybody's flexibility and mobility is a little bit different. So, weights come here, up and together, lower back, shoulders and chest. We're gonna do 20 of those. And then we will be just about done with shoulders, I promise. So lower, up and press. Turn the pinky side of the hand in. Good, now notice I'm kind of right here. I still have a soft bend through my elbow. I'm not all the way up here at the top. My weights are not over my head. They're landing right in front of me. So I'm watching what's happening through my body. I have a good sense visually and physically, hang in there. You can always take a break. Last five. Three, very good. Hang in here with me. Two. And one, oh, those shoulders are on fire. Take one of your weights and go ahead, set it back under your chair. And we're gonna draw this one dumbbell here into the right hand. We're gonna take it back behind us and just press up towards the ceiling, lower, slow. Try to keep this elbow up towards the ceiling and bicep in towards the ear as we press 20 each arm so again that's a big number if you need to modify and take a break somewhere in between there totally fine do what you can here today let's go together good tighten up the core don't push the rib cage forward trying to get this arm to go further back modify the arm bring that arm further forward or elbow further out just make sure that you're feeling work here through this muscle Everything joint-wise feels nice and comfortable and we're not arching through the low back. Very good. Halfway there, a little bit over halfway there. Good, you can support yourself with this arm here in the front. Three more. Last one, bring it up and over. Give that right hand a little shake or wiggle out the fingers. 
20 on the left and then we will put this dumbbell under the chair and move into the hands and wrists. Here we go, support from the front or from the back, wherever you feel comfortable as long as you're not doing weird funky stuff through the neck. Good, keep those core muscles pulled in. Very good, give me a nice slow lower and a little bit of power on the way up. Very good, hang in there, you're doing so good. Halfway there. Very good. I feel it too. I'm with you. Three more. Two and last one. Beautiful job. Bring it up and then lower it down slowly. Set that underneath the chair. My goodness. Okay. Go ahead and just give those wrists a little bit of love here. So while we are weight training and hanging on to the dumbbells, the hands and the fingers are working. So you are getting a little bit of grip strength through our upper body dumbbell and resistance workouts. But I always like to check in from time to time too and make sure that the forearm strength, the hand and the finger strength is good on its own rather than just as a supporting muscle. You've got to do things like turning keys, pushing buttons, opening jars and doors. So we wanna keep them nice and strong. Go ahead here, make a fist with the right hand, close the left hand over and we're not squeezing. We're just very gently making a fist and we're gonna turn those wrists for a few circles here in one direction and then roll it around and reverse it to the other side. And then make a fist with the left, gently close over with the right, go one direction and then the other. So we wanna increase Mobility through these wrists, we want them to be able to stretch, flex, and extend. And then we also want them to be nice and strong. Take them on down. We're gonna take those palms here and I want you to kind of imagine gluing those elbows into the sides, palms up, and we're going to close the fingers and take a thumbs up, open, close, and open. And we don't have to do a lot here and it doesn't have to feel super forceful. The only thing I really want you to focus on is pulling those abs in and keeping those elbows in because a lot of times what happens is we kind of start doing the chicken dance and we're not looking for that. We're not looking for shoulders. We want to make sure that it's through the forearms. Now make that fist and close the thumb down on top. We're going to take a couple of variations of all of these. So they're all going to look different. And if there's something that you don't like, go back to one that you liked a little better. Turn them over. So palms up, palms all the way over. And then take this palm all the way over and tap the thumb to the base of the pinky. Fold it over. And you might, as we build on these, start to feel a little more work or some building in through those forearms. It should feel like work, it should not be painful. Close and make a fist, open to palms up, close and make that fist. Palms open, fist underneath. Now you're not squeezing for dear life, you're just gently closing the fingers and closing the thumb over the top, feeling everything engage and then opening again. And 
And now you can kind of release, shake that out a little bit. Those elbows, we want them close to the body, but it's not quite as important to keep them glued and tucked into the sides real rigid. So you can kind of loosen up a little bit here. Fingers forward, you're gonna take the thumbs up towards the chest and then fingers down towards the floor on each side. The only thing I want you to be aware of here is that you're not lifting and lowering from the elbow. So just pay attention and watch and make sure that it's coming from the wrist. Now we are working with the wrist here. So again, it should feel a little bit like work. You should feel a little bit of stretching and engaging through the muscles, but nothing should be painful. Pain is a warning sign that your body is trying to send you to let you know that something is wrong. So please do not push yourself through something that is painful. Just see if you can make it smaller. And if that doesn't stop the pain, then just modify and we'll do something else instead. Come to some wrist circles. Very good. Go ahead here, close the thumbs and make a little fist here. And same thing kind of like drumming or hitting a hammer. I don't know why it really reminds me of playing whack-a-mole. <laughs> Very good, ease that out. A couple wrist circles there. We're gonna turn those palms back up and I want you to kind of scoop those fingers up like you were holding a beach towel or something in these hands and we're just gonna curl them towards us and back down. Good, your movement can look totally different than mine. I said it earlier, everybody, everybody, everyone has a different body. So it's going to look different depending on your movement patterns, your flexibility, previous injuries, so it doesn't have to look like mine. It doesn't have to look, if you're doing this with a partner, it doesn't have to look like theirs. Separate them. And go here. If it is uncomfortable, you modify and take a smaller movement. And then let's go ahead here. We're gonna turn those hands in and we're just gonna lightly touch the backs of the fingers or the backs of the hands together. And we're gonna turn them forward, extend them out, pull them back in and then see if you can turn them over, extend them out. So we're just kind of going through this movement here, draw them back in. If you feel like you really have to be super forceful here to keep the backs of the hands touching, we don't need that today. We're not, it's not about force. So you can just let the fingers interlace to create more space for you to work on wrist flexibility. Bring them together when you can. And if you can't, just touch fingertips or even take them separate. Tailor this movement to yourself. That's the best part about at home workouts and exercises. You can really take this and make it your own. Very good. Do a few more here. And this should feel good through the wrists, through those arms. You can kind of get a little funky, get a little weird, make it your own, see what feels good here. And then go ahead and open it up. We're gonna make a fist here. So kind of like hanging onto the steering wheel. And then we're gonna take the thumbs up to the top and take some circles. And what I'm doing is I'm taking them out into the center, out again, and then let's reverse that in through the center and out. And you might notice that the fingers wanna go all kinds of places. Just do your best to keep them where they are, but if they move a little bit, that's okay. Like I said, it's not about being forceful here. Close the thumbs and just give it a little press if that feels good and then open and close. So you'll notice on this press here that you might feel this part of the thumb working. If you have carpal tunnel or you had carpal tunnel injury or sensitivity in the past, this muscle can be very quick to atrophy and lose strength. 
So we want to do the best that we can to kind of maintain that. Very good. And then ease that down, shake that out. Now we're gonna kind of pin those elbows in towards the sides again because I wanna make sure that it's not the whole arm moving in and out. We're gonna kind of take a jazz hands movement here. So you're just gonna flex the fingers up and kind of press this portion of the palm and the hand forward and we're gonna open and lift. Now there's gonna be some movement through the forearm. That's okay. What I wanna avoid is this upper arm moving too because then it kind of takes over and these upper arms rotate more than the lower arm. So we wanna keep it everything below the elbow. Again, no forcing ourselves. No pushing into painful movements, just nice and easy here if you need to kind of let those fingers flop forward a little bit, that's okay too. Everything should be getting a little bit fatigued. This was a good workout and you did a good job. So it's okay if you're getting a little tired. Go ahead, couple wrist circles there. And then let's go ahead, stretch out that body and you are going to be on your way with your day. Take those arms all the way up, stretch them up and open, touch the fingertips together at the top, and then just kind of let these hands fall back behind you. Don't force them to go anywhere they don't wanna go. So if you're a little bit wider or the elbows are a little bit lower, that is okay. Just do your best to stretch open the backs of these arms, not pushing the rib cage forward. Again, sitting up nice and tall, you have to keep proper form and posture through our warm-ups and our cool downs and stretches as well. Take that on up and then we're gonna drop the right arm, lift this right arm all the way up and back and then just gently switch through, stretching open the back muscles here, stretching open the shoulders, Oh, very good, one more time here. And then float that right arm on down, take those hands to the lap and kind of let the body soften just a little bit. And we'll take the right ear over towards the right shoulder. Keep this left shoulder down, don't let it follow with you. Up through the center and then over to this left side. Very good, kind of let your body slow down here. I know our wrist and hand exercises probably brought the heart rate down quite a bit, but it's okay. It's still good to just take a moment and relax. Shoulders all the way up, roll them back a few times. And then one last good deep breath in here and let that go nice and easy. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this workout. I hope it was exactly what you needed today. Instructing really is my passion. And even though I cannot be there in your home with you, this is the very best, next best thing. I really appreciate knowing that we are working out together. We're getting our goals and making improvements through our bodies every single day. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Please take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon.